When I last laid hands on the new BlackBerry, it didn't have finished software, it didn't have a final spec sheet, it didn't even have a proper name. What a difference a couple of months make. From an echo chamber of a hotel room in Barcelona, I'm Mr. Mobile, and this is a hands-on with the BlackBerry Key One, the smartphone formerly known as Mercury. Not much has changed on the hardware front here. It's still the same aluminum candy bar, built to be used with one hand. That's important. BlackBerry's philosophy is that if you have to put your coffee down to use your phone, then there's something wrong with your phone. I got to spend about two hours with the Key One this time, and I think BlackBerry really nailed the hand feel. It's a very comfortable smartphone to use. The rounded lower corners mean it doesn't dig into your palm, and the soft touch coating on the back plate makes it easy to grip. As you can see, these are still pre-production devices with some uneven button backlighting, but the keyboard is now much closer to the final product. While it's not as spacious as the bolds of old, these keys are much clickier than the mushy pad on 2015's BlackBerry Priv. Now, some of you were concerned about the placement of those capacitive buttons above the keyboard, and now that I've used the phone a little longer, I see what you mean. If you're using the keyboard as a trackpad or doing some swipes to autocomplete sentences, you're gonna accidentally hit those function buttons until you train yourself to avoid them. On the brighter side, the spacebar doubling as a fingerprint sensor totally works. There are two little LEDs to remind you it's there, the placement is top-notch, and the sensor is very fast. Also fast, the software. None of the pokiness of the Priv is present here. The key one is zippy, even on this early build. Of course, the real test will come during the full review period, when I've got three email accounts and a hundred apps clogging up the works, but my initial impressions are good. The usual BlackBerry benefits are here too. The hub that gathers all your notifications into one list, the super bright LED that tells you about those notifications in the first place, the DTEK security suite, and my favorite, the convenience key on the side that opens any app you want with a click or mutes the audio on a call. Like the millions of Blackberries that came before, this is a smartphone very much aimed at corporate and government users. Those users aren't going to care much about the spec sheet, but you do, so here it is. In the predictable category, expandable storage, support for GSM and CDMA networks, and a full HD display. In the pleasant surprise department, the same camera sensor used by the Google Pixel, with a responsive viewfinder offering a fairly complete feature set. On the controversial side, a mid-range processor with 3 gigs of RAM. I'm disappointed with the latter, but I'm actually okay with the Snapdragon 625, and here's why. That's the same power-efficient processor used by the Moto Z Play, a speedy phone with excellent battery life. It's such a long laster that it's actually my primary show phone for this Barcelona trip, and the battery in the BlackBerry is just as big. That should make the Key One a real marathon runner. And when you do need to top it up, there's a quick charge 3.0, USB power delivery, and an optional boost mode that shuts down power intensive features so the phone will charge even faster. BlackBerry claims zero to half charge in just 36 minutes. At a starting price of around 549 US dollars when it goes on sale in Q2, the Key One is going to be a tough sell to any consumer who doesn't need a physical keyboard. I mean, you can get better specs in the DTEK 60 for 100 bucks cheaper. But for me, it's tough to get excited about the DTEK 60, whereas it's tough to fight my excitement for the Key One. And anyway, consumers are secondary to BlackBerry's quest to recapture its enterprise base. We'll see how likely the Key One is to help with that when it comes time for the full review. Subscribe to Mr. Mobile on YouTube and pay a visit to my MWC sponsor. Thrifter is a new way to save money on everything from gadgets to home goods by shopping based on value and not hype. Sign up at thrifter.com and get thoughtfully selected tech deals from places like Amazon and Best Buy daily without all the fluff. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay mobile, my friends.